Hello everyone, your skin is a remarkable organ. It's your body's first line of defense, but it's also a window to your internal health. It often displays the very first signs that something deeper is wrong. And when it comes to high blood sugar and diabetes, your skin can be one of the most powerful warning systems you have, sending clear signals long before you might feel any other symptoms. The problem is, most of us don't know how to read these signals. We dismiss a strange patch as a simple rash, a new spot as an age spot, or itchy skin as just being dry. Today, we are going to learn the language of your skin. We're going to count down 12 distinct skin problems and signs that are directly linked to pre-diabetes and diabetes. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Frank Maxwell, and welcome to Diabetes Medic, your home for clear science-backed strategies to master your metabolic health. Today, we're acting as medical detectives. I'm going to guide you through a comprehensive visual tour of the top skin signs of diabetes. Some of these are incredibly common, others are quite rare, but all of them are important messages from your body that you should never ignore. My promise to you is that by the end of this video, you will be empowered with the knowledge to recognize these signs in yourself or a loved one so you can take action early. Let's begin our countdown. 1. Acanthosis nigricans, what it looks like. This is one of the most common and earliest signs. It appears as dark, thick, velvety, or leathery patches of skin, typically in body folds like the back of the neck, armpits, and groin. On lighter skin, it might look like a smudge of dirt or a tan. On darker skin tones, it's a very deep, dark, and noticeably thick patch. It cannot be scrubbed off. What it means. This is a direct external sign of high insulin levels, the hallmark of insulin resistance. The excess insulin in your blood stimulates your skin cells to grow and multiply too rapidly, causing the darkening and thickening. Tassin Brewers 2. Dry, itchy skin, pruritus. What it looks like. This feels exactly as it sounds, persistently dry, tight, and itchy skin, often on the legs, feet, and elbows, that doesn't seem to get better with regular lotion. What it means. This can be one of the first subtle clues of high blood sugar. When there's excess glucose in your blood, your body pulls fluid from your cells to produce more urine to flush out the sugar. This cellular dehydration leads to dry skin all over your body. It can also be a sign of poor circulation or nerve damage, which impairs your skin's ability to stay moist. 3. Diabetic Dermopathy – Shin Spots What it looks like. These are light brown or reddish, scaly patches that are slightly indented, often appearing on the shins. They are usually round or oval and are often mistaken for simple age spots or old faded scars from minor injuries. They don't hurt or itch. What it means. These spots are a sign of damage to the small blood vessels, capillaries, that supply the skin with nutrients and oxygen. Chronic high blood sugar weakens these vessels, causing them to leak. While the spots themselves are harmless, they are a powerful indicator of widespread vascular damage and poor circulation. 4. Fungal Infections What it looks like Anyone can get a fungal infection, but people with diabetes are far more susceptible. These are typically very itchy, red, and sometimes moist rashes, often accompanied by tiny blisters or scales. They thrive in warm, moist skin folds, under the breasts, in the groin, between toes, athlete's foot, and around the nails. The most common culprit is a yeast-like fungus called Candida albicans. What it means, high blood sugar creates a welcoming environment for fungi. The excess sugar in your system is literal food for yeast, helping it grow out of control. Furthermore, uncontrolled diabetes can weaken the immune system, making it harder to fight off these infections. 5. Bacterial Infections – What It Looks Like Similar to fungal infections, these are more frequent and can be more severe in people with high blood sugar. Common examples include painful boils, styes on the eyelids, carbuncles, deep infections of the skin and underlying tissue, 
and infections of the hair follicles, folliculitis. What it means. This is another direct consequence of a weakened immune system and high glucose levels, which bacteria thrive on. If you find yourself getting recurrent bacterial skin infections, it's a strong sign that your body's defenses are compromised by high blood sugar. 6. Digital Sclerosis – What It Looks Like This condition causes the skin on the back of the hands and sometimes on the toes and forehead to become thick, tight, waxy, and difficult to pinch. In advanced cases, it can lead to stiffness in the finger joints, making it difficult to fully straighten them. What it means the exact cause is unknown, but it is strongly associated with long-standing, poorly controlled diabetes. It's believed to be related to damage from advanced glycation end products, AGES, where sugar molecules attach to proteins like collagen in the skin, making it stiff and inflexible. We're halfway through our list. Before we continue, I'm curious to hear from you. Have any of these first six signs been a surprise? Is there one you have seen or experienced before without knowing what it was? Let me know in the comments. 7. Eruptive Xanthomatosis What it looks like This condition appears suddenly as firm, yellow, pea-like bumps on the skin. Each bump often has a reddish halo around it and can be itchy. They typically show up on the backs of hands, feet, arms, legs, and buttocks. What it means this is a very clear and urgent sign of extremely high, uncontrolled blood sugar and, specifically, sky-high triglycerides, a type of fat, in the blood. It's a direct result of severe insulin resistance. The good news is that these bumps usually disappear quickly once blood sugar and triglycerides are brought under control. 8. Diabetic Blisters – Bullosis Diabeticorum what it looks like. This is a startling condition where large, firm blisters appear suddenly on the skin, most often on the hands, feet, legs, or forearms. They look like burn blisters but occur without any known injury and are usually painless. What it means? This is a strong indicator of uncontrolled diabetes and is often associated with diabetic neuropathy, nerve damage. While the exact mechanism is unclear, it's a sign that the disease is affecting the deeper layers of the skin and nerves. 9. Necrobiosis, Lipoidica diabeticorum, NLD. What it looks like. NLD is a rarer but very distinct condition. It starts as one or more small, dull, reddish-brown raised spots. These spots slowly enlarge into larger patches that become shiny, thinned, and yellowish in the center, often with a purplish or violet border. The blood vessels underneath can become visible. What it means. Like shin spots, NLD is thought to be caused by changes in the small blood vessels due to high blood sugar. It's a more severe inflammatory response that can lead to thinning of the skin, making it fragile and prone to ulceration. 10. Disseminated granuloma annulare. What it looks like. This condition causes ring-shaped or arc-shaped rashes on the skin. The rashes are typically raised and can be skin-colored reddish or purplish. While they can appear anywhere, they are most common on the hands and feet. What it means, while granuloma annulare can occur in people without diabetes, the disseminated or widespread form is strongly linked to it. It's believed to be an inflammatory reaction within the skin possibly triggered by the metabolic changes of diabetes. 11. Slow healing of cuts and sores. What it looks like. This isn't a rash but a functional problem. A minor cut, scrape, or blister that would normally heal in a few days just seems to linger for weeks or even gets worse. What it means. This is a classic hallmark of diabetes caused by a triad of issues. Poor circulation. Not enough oxygen and healing nutrients can get to the wound. Nerve damage. You may not notice the injury or protect it properly. Weakened immune system. Your body can't effectively fight off bacteria that enter the wound. 12. Diabetic foot ulcers. This brings us to the most serious skin problem of all. It's the end result of many of the issues we've already discussed. What it looks like. 
an open sore or wound, most commonly on the bottom of the foot, that is slow to heal or is not healing at all. It may or may not be painful due to nerve damage. What it means, this is a medical emergency. It's a sign of severe nerve damage, poor circulation, and a compromised immune system. An untreated foot ulcer can lead to a deep infection of the tissue and bone, which is the leading cause of diabetes-related amputations. My final clinical takeaway. These 12 signs are not meant to scare you. They are meant to empower you. They are your body's early warning system. By learning to recognize them, you can catch problems early, get the proper medical attention, and address the root cause, high blood sugar, before more serious irreversible damage occurs. Your skin is telling you a story. Please listen to it. If this comprehensive guide has been valuable, and you want more of the science-backed information I share to help you master your health, then I invite you to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Join us here at Diabetes Medic. For today's question, which of these 12 signs was the most surprising or new to you? Share it in the comments below. Thank you for your time today. Now that you can recognize the warning signs, it's time to learn about the underlying truths of the condition. I highly recommend you watch the video on the screen now. What most doctors won't tell you about diabetes, but I will. It's the perfect next step. Click on it and I'll see you over there.